Bro, if we are simply talking about the first thing I want to do when I wake up, it is not cook. But meanwhile, the first thing you should do when you wake up, you want to have breakfast, right? You want to get started. Well, I got the hack, ladies and gentlemen, Trader Joe's steamed chicken soup dumplings. Steamed chicken soup dumplings. I'm telling you, I've been having this for breakfast for like the last two weeks, yo. And then when I get back from my workout, I actually... Depending on how hard I went, I actually, you know, want to cook, you know, cook, make some breakfast after that, you know. But my pre-workout meal is this. Look, look, look here. Six dumplings is one serving. 250 calories. Seven, I repeat, seven grams of fat. 29 grams of carbohydrates and 16 grams of protein. I mean, that sounds like a fuel meal to me. You got a good amount of carbs in there. We got our protein, it's not protein heavy, you know, 16 grams, whatever. And they're good, seven, seven grams of fat, and they're good. Bro, baby been getting these, she, been, she was trying to get me to eat these forever. And I was like, nah, cause how she she do it? She do like all this extra shit with like chili sauce and, and like, and red pepper stuff, and I'm like, nah, like, and then I tasted hers, and I was like, nah, it's like a weird, tangy taste, but by itself, straight meat and bread, just like I like it, bomb, yo, so I've been having these for breakfast, about to pump it up with some chest today, um, chest and maybe either shoulders, triceps, or just chest, uh, triceps, um, and... A little bit of explosive explosive stuff today. Uh, I got rest and training later. So we'll be headed there. And uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, come rock with your boy. Welcome to the channel. You know what time it is. We got some pre-workout. This was our latest drop. The pink swole burst. I think it's like, it might be sold out right now uh, as this video is out. But take it some pre and pump and then uh, head into the gym. Alpha line, fifteen percent off. Use code Aftermath for your supplement discount. Brought to you by your boy. Let's go ahead and head to the gym. Oh, grab this trash. Damn, it's all kind of heavy. I ain't gonna bullshit you. Whoa! What the hell? Alright, never mind. We ain't going to the gym. Let me put this up real quick. I don't know how long you've been out there. I don't know. I'm gonna start taking I'm gonna start taking my worldly problems and really just grinding them out in the gym. You know why? So, you know, I I go and check my bank account, you know, here and there. Uh, but one time you know, a few days, a few or earlier this month, I ended up checking my account and seeing what I get charged on the first. You know, because I was writing all all my charge, like all my automatic charges. Finally, after years, I'm writing all my automatic charges. You know, on paper, just trying to find out how much is like my bills and things a month, you know, subscriptions, all that. Yo, I've been getting charged for the last three, four years from Gold's fucking gym, right? Um, because I signed up me, my ex, and Jeff, right? And I I remember I called them saying, hey, you know, canceling all our membership because I signed up all of us, right? So we should have all been linked together. And it's all on my card. You know, I, like, like I said, I've been getting charged since literally like now. And I go in, I call them. I'm like, hey, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I canceled this shit hella long ago. And they were like, oh, yeah, well, blah, blah, blah. Like, they were like, they were telling me, oh, yeah, you can't cancel the membership. Your ex needs to call us or she needs to contact us and cancel it herself. I said, nigga, it's my goddamn bank account. It's my card. Like, what y'all need to do is cancel my shit, call her as, you know what I'm saying, for a credit card or whatever or some shit, and y'all deal with that shit. 
I'm probably bro, like like that don't make no sense. Like if she wanted to, she could be like, oh no, nah, fuck no, nah, I'm not gonna call them. And then what? Y'all just gonna continually try? Nah, bro. Y'all straight up played me. Ghost Gym, y'all played me, bro. Because when I signed us up, it should have been all together. Why the fuck were we all separate, bro? And that shit really got me hot, bro. That shit got me hot. I was like, damn. $50 a month for three years. Y'all niggas got me for a, 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 a stack. A hundred, bro. Real talk. Give me my stack back. What are the things that I predict? Predicted. Freaking. I was waiting on my damn stuff from Alphalete, you know, to get in. And I was like, watch. As soon as I pull up to the gym, sit in the parking lot, I'm going to get a fucking notification. My shit is at the house. And what do you know? My shit is at the house. Now I got to show you guys when I get home, instead of, you know, beforehand, before the workout, to figure out what I want to wear for this workout. You know? Because we got that fire. We got that fire. See my fit right now? See my shit right now? So we got that fire. Yo. We got that fire, right? Hell yeah. We got that fire. Something. We got that fire. Come on. I didn't even realize it was a weekend. He's, he's waiting for you. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Have you played COD? Yeah, I'm struggling with COD right now. Why? Did you get caught? No, no, not yet, yeah. Huh? You didn't get caught yet, yeah? med ball presses to floor fast three sets of 20 and we also got some bands so we're doing some dislocations about 20 reps uh 10 pull aparts and then 10 uh shoulder dislocations all right so one thing i've been doing before i bench especially my heavy sessions you know you guys who have those elbow issues is my main focus because i'm very tricep dominant in my bench press is to warm up my triceps so i'll do four sets 10 8 to 10 reps just a nice squeeze at the bottom, a soft lockout, right? So we're not locking fully out, but it's like a soft lockout. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to inflame the show, uh, inflame my elbows. Um, and, you know, first thing before bench, so I just do like a soft lockout. I'm trying to build pump, I'm trying to get the blood flowing in the triceps. So we're gonna do this for four sets of uh, eight to ten reps. off with a set of 20 lighten the load 20 reps to just kind of finish up the blood flow uh, we got more squeezes with the beginning sets and then we're gonna finish off last set with 20 reps yeah yeah oh. Oh. I like that, yeah <laughs> all right so first thing with bench press rack height now there are some people that like to do like a damn near half rep for whatever reason when they unrack and there's some people that like it fully extended to where they have to bring the scapulas off the damn bench to rack it for whatever reason. But for me, you need to be right. This is, needs to be like you're pressed. Like you need to be able to press that much and be able to unrack. Not here and then go like that. That's what I mean. Or you don't want it to be right here. You're damn near doing a half rep. You're gonna take out all your energy when bench pressing. So I'm gonna give you guys my entire bench press Setup. Well, as I said, the bench height is very important. You don't want to waste energy, right? If you're having to overextend to rack it, you know, you'll be in trouble. And then if it's too low, you're wasting pretty much your energy on half a rep. So I say right here, this is a small motion right here. Boom, and then lock out just like that. You don't want to be like that where your scapula is coming up. You have to bring your shoulders up off the bench to rack it and you don't want to start 
right here as i said half rep that's just wasting so much energy and you're going to lose those reps now when we're benching you see how my elbows are pointed down and out right so not straight down not straight out we don't want that we want to save the shoulders right so down and like straight down would be like more tricep but now you're putting a lot of pressure on your shoulder and then straight out pointed out you're putting even more pressure on your shoulder and it's not good to bench that way so set up for me you see where my fingers are i usually like my thumbs where the solid and the girdle meet and this is me showing how you know to bring those elbows in down and out and not all the way down but not all the way out and this is a very comfortable bench position so again angled down and away right so now we're going to go on to our placement with our back right i'm bringing my chest up as you see right here you want to create some type of natural flow with the bench right you don't want a flat back a flat back is going to cause once again shoulder issues when you bench a lot of people end up having shoulder problems so what you're doing is you're creating some range of motion some comfort in the positioning when you bring that chest up and have that small arch now i don't recommend having a big arch if you're not like a power lifter and you don't bench wide because usually i feel like that big arch is for those wide uh wide benchers and i don't even prefer benching wide you know everybody that i see tear some shit is a wide bencher that's just me personally if you've seen somebody that benches close and towards some cool you know i haven't seen it yet but anyways this is very important right here changing the amount you warm up with you know i slightly showed you right here you know because for years i was doing the same warm up as you get stronger your warm up has to change as well right so you get stronger your warm up changes and right here is i'm trying to show you guys you know about focus um when you're trying to prepare for a big lift you don't want to be over hyped i don't like the slap shitty shit i mean you might like it whatever it gets you hyped up but there needs to be some type of have the raids of broly with the calmness of wheeze you know what i'm saying you need to like combine those two because you can't be like overly hyped up and trying to just like hulk rage stuff because i promise you it'll take you out the game it'll take you out the zone you know and lastly not lastly but have a spotter on deck when you're going for heavy lifts i don't find somebody tell them exactly how you want to be spotted and then get a spotter get that lift off save some energy so you can get that big rep Now that we know how to bench like an absolute monster, here is the rest of my workout. We're gonna do incline on the Smith machine. Now I've been focused on incline like crazy. Like I literally stopped doing flat bench to be real because my chest compared to my bench looks like shit. So everybody that has a good chest, incline. Arnold, incline. I still remember that, that photo of Arnold's big ass chest incline barefoot on the, you know, like, Legendary and that means a lot because look at his chest. I'm pretty sure he was all out incline type of person So we're gonna load this joint up and then I put a Resistance band up here to help me in the bottom position just to give me a little bit more reps. So Nothing below once again. I promise myself nothing below eight reps So the max I'll probably go is 315 or 355 um, incline on the machine and we're gonna stick to that. So as I said, I have put a high importance on incline. And to be honest, yes, I use the Smith machine. You know, I do all the heavy lifting on the barbell, the free weight. And then when I'm trying to go for muscle growth, I go to the Smith machine. It's simple. It's already set up to where I'm in a straight bar path. I'm hitting exactly where I want to hit. I can put a lot more weight on there and have some assistance as well to pump out, you know, maybe one or two more reps with heavier weight. If there's a chance 
I can go heavier, you know, with clean reps and get more out of the exercise, then that's what needs to be done. You know, if I did regular incline on the barbell, I'd probably be at like maybe 315 for six. When I'm in this, I can go 355 for six or sometimes even eight on a good day, you know? And I just kind of leave the barbell stuff, um, free weights for my strength training, right? And then everything else is more of a machine type of thing. Sometimes I'll go with the dumbbells um, for free weight as well. And then we're finishing off the workout with some flies. Now I like to start high to low, back to high. So I'll do about 15 to 20 for two sets do a set um, for 10, 8 to 10, and then I'll finish off with a set of 20 to keep that blood flow, to keep that pump. And then that's it. Nice and simple workout, we done. Still raining out here, man. It's depressing, Houston. Houston, you are wet, depressing, and hot at the same time. It's crazy. All right, got my alpha lead drop. Got my Alphalete, uh new clothes for the new drop at the crib. So we gotta grab that and I'm gonna show you how I live. So like I said, man, workouts be simple, man. Simple now, bro. You know, especially since, you know, I have a bad recovery today. Um, my Whoop app shows my recovery today is 24. So let's see what my strain for the day is right now. 7.1, which I think that was kind of the range it wanted me to stick around today based off my recovery. So, and just so you guys can see. Recovery, 24% bad, right? Look at that, look at all these reds and yellows, yo. I have not had a good recovery day for the last week. And what's crazy is I've been smoking a lot more at the house, so. Road to not smoke, bro. Gotta gotta cut that shit out of my life for real. I wish I never picked it up. Oh, I think this is Bay's books. Bay bought like 30 bucks because Target was having some sale. This is mine. Oh yes, sir. Let's go ahead and throw it on. Alright, what is this? Oh, that's the tank. Yo, yeah, I definitely want to put this on right now. Oh, yes, sir. Damn. Yo. Nah, hell yeah. Bro, keep you doing this on the table, bro. Yes, sir. It's the remix right here. Got the mother, but just feeling so insecure. We got that black on black brush tee. I don't know why I thought this was something else when I ordered it. I thought it was the other texture, but nah, this is the texture I like. Now nah, we in that joint. For the brush tees, we in that joint, bro. The black. Yo, look, check the back. Yo, come on, bro. We're really out here doing it. All right, so that was the T. Let's try the tank. Oh, that feels good, bro. I like that. I like that. Got an XL on the tank, too. Check the back. Bro, come on, bro. This shit's official. Blow my whistle. Come on, man. I'm in that job. What's up? What's up? You know what I'm saying? Bro. It's called Aftermath. For those, you know what I'm saying? For those who are interested, Black Friday sale. Big sale, bro. So. Don't miss out. Bro, this color is a pewter. Goddamn pewter smith. Yes, sir. I like that gray. Throw a little chain on. Throw my little gold chain on too with the man. Come on, man. Yeah, these is it, bro. Oh, I, I, I do not wear tanks. Like I used to back in the day. Yeah, I do not wear tanks. These are solid, bro. Bro, making my traps look kind of juicy. I'm not even going to bull, yo. 
All right, it's the last thing I'm gonna show. I got hella different colors, but it's the last thing I'm gonna show because I got hella stuff over there. But this is the green or sage, you know what I'm saying? And I like green. I, I've learned to pick up green. I don't know, and then every time I wear green, I get complimented. It just looks good on my skin. I'm like a, like a reddish tint, you know what I'm saying? It just looks good on my skin. And I always get complimented when I wear green. So I'm trying to force myself to get out of the grays and blacks and wear other colors. But yeah, I like this. This is a nice color. We got the blue. We got the blue with the mesh shorts, with the blue and yellow, the baby blue and yellow down there. Man, oh, trying to get that up. With the back. This also came in green as well. Boom. The sage. This is Glacier. Oh man. This is a fit, bro. This is a fit. I look like I hoop and lift. Family and spliff. No, I'm just joking. But yeah. So yeah, I, originally I went large the last time we had shirts like this. And this time around I went XL. And they, you know. They fit a bit better, you know. I, I do, I do like the large. The larger's, you know, of course, more tighter on the arms. Um, I kind of have to like, I got 19 inches, you know what I'm saying? And I still gotta kind of like pull them joints up on my arm day. But you know, when I got a pump, they'll start to they'll start to roll up with a pump. But nah, dead ass. That same like that same texture. Those shirts in a tank. Nah, that this is the move. I kid you not, y'all. This shit is the move. I don't, I, I, I'm very verbal with Alphalete and what I don't like, like I hate a lot of the hoodies, you know what I'm saying, because they're, they're short, like a lot of the shit's short, the length on these, on these is good, like everything is solid, the, the flexibility, like these joints stretch, comfortable, they feel, they just feel good, yo, so, alright, if y'all want a clothing haul, separate video, let me know, I'll stop here, I don't want to like bug y'all on some shit, but. You know, cause, but I do want to like wear these joints right now. So I had pizza last night. We can't let the rest of this go to waste cause I only had three slices. So you know what? Let's grab a few. And yes, this is going to be uh, my post workout meal. High calories. I got wrestling tonight anyway. So by the way, I'm not allowed to show wrestling practice. So just to let you know, it won't be that far. You won't see any me like in the ring anymore. Just so yeah. So the best way to reheat pizza. Air fryer. Air. Oops. Air fryer. Right here, yo. The best way. About two slices in that joint. Put it in. Two slices. I don't want that piece. That piece looks too cheesy. I don't like that. I don't like when they put too much cheese on the pizza. Look at this. You see this? Do you see how brand damn new these pieces of pizza look? Look at look how brand new that looks. Look at that. You wouldn't even know that was yesterday's pizza. Baby, I be sitting here waiting on you to Super narcissist mode engaged. Look at that. Nah, I just haven't changed it since, you know, forever. But <clears throat> I'm about to eat this and it's funny because I'm about to have a protein shake too. I'm going to eat this first and then have a protein shake. Just get a little 30 grams in real quick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Had my pizza, some protein, protein shake. I drank a, a little bit of it. I'm gonna finish it. Yo, this show. So I just finished watching the second episode of Invincible, bro. And I'm catching up on Gen V. Gen V is 
way crazier than the boys, yo. The shit that's going on in this joint is exactly what would happen in a, a superhero college or, you know, superpowers college, yo. It's crazy. It's just so realistic. Like, this is, this is literally how shit would be. Which is super unstable, people doing hella just nasty shit, people with these sexual impulses with superpower, bro. It would be crazy, yo. But Gen B, if you were into some like gory, like crazy real shit, I like stuff like this. Gen B, the boys, of course, but Gen B, yeah. Apparently it didn't end too well the season, but yeah. Alright, show these back from the gym. What is that vegan rap? Vegan? It's like vegan. That ain't a rap. That's a, that's a wet cracker. It's flatbread. Flatbread? Nasty ass mustard that I sometimes eat. You like it. You it's not that I like it. I don't mind it. There's a difference. You're like, where's the honey mustard? You're missing the honey mustard. I have never said that in my yes, life. Yes, you did. No, I did not. When I made the turkey burgers? I said something's missing. And you were like, that honey mustard. Oh, the honey mustard. Yeah, yeah. That, joint, that joint was kind of dry. You <laughs> be lying on me. But you said you ain't never asked for that. I ain't never asked. I said, I said, well, something's missing. That's not asking for it. And I said, mm hmm. And then I put that joint on there. Alright, babe, bro. I'm not gonna eat all this. I'm just gonna let y'all know. I'm gonna let her know too. But babe brung some. Damn, I gotta return this phone. That's the thing, like with sauce, I just don't like seeing it, bro. Alright, let's take a bite. I think I don't like the meat more so than anything else. The meat is too like light, you know? I like it more like dry. It's too wet. I like more like a drier, dense, you know, like a black wood ham. I feel like that's what it's called. Or just that's what it is. But yeah, it's cool though. Regardless, I'll film it. It's super easy. It takes like five minutes to make them. Yeah. All right, I'll be back. What you make, baby? I made a little taco bowl, but I put it over potato, so. Obviously, anything you would put in a taco. Taco meat seasoned with some cheese, guac, pico, and then I just put it over some little roasted potatoes under there. Boom. And that's it. That's it. I'm over here playing UFC 5. To be real, the graphics on this whole suck. It's the same graphics as like character creation options suck. A lot of shit for this joint stuff, but I still like the fighting aspect of it, so. But now I'm about to turn something on. This is babe over here. Oh, my bad. Yo, bad. Yo, bad. Ooh. What's up? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Dr. Stone. Thank you, baby. So now we're watching some Dr. Stone. And we got dessert. Dessert make you squirt. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's that? A funnel cake. Ever since I had a funnel cake, my dad got me a funnel cake. I probably had a funnel cake every day, ever since. Yes. Ever since, had a funnel cake every day. You never think to make a funnel cake. And they're so quick and easy. You like a funnel cake? There another one over there? Yeah. Oh yeah, we out there. We out, bro. We out. I'm about to finish and sit there right next to Senku. Chill like that. Oh, give me your pepper. I just got this. I ordered a dang case. Amazon. Let's go on Amazon real quick. This all the milk that was left? No. What's this little glass? I don't know. I just poured it. I wasn't sure if you were going to finish the whole cup. 
Then you got these little plates. It's gonna be messy. Yeah. This is it for today, man. This is it. What you eat for breakfast? I had um. I eat the dumplings for breakfast. Huh? It's easy. Huh? I always eat the dumplings for breakfast because I eat. Huh. I might start making some eggs or some things. Oh, yeah, that's the, the oatmeal was dead. Apple cinnamon? Yeah. We got here. Yeah, just. Yes. Yeah, boy. Yum, 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 yum. Ain't got that olive oil you taste. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't. The one yesterday had it. Mm -hmm.